Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Right now, I'm a babysitter. <laughs> okay, why? But I'll be ready in a minute. Okay, no problem, no problem. Everything is okay here. And okay. what about you? How was oh. your day? Good. As usual, you know, very busy. I began my classes today in the morning. And I was, it was very entertaining with the boys and girls. Okay, okay. It was nice. It was nice. I enjoy it. Okay. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, how are you? Fine, what? thank you. What Benjamin? happened yesterday? Oh, Benjamin. I didn't know work. Ah, so you went in a party. You went to a party too. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I, I am my baby. Hey, you took care of your baby. You were babysitting. Okay, just like Lorena in this moment. Yeah. <laughs> huh? You sure? Yes. I, I was watching a uh, platform on YouTube. Uh, the class yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I was... Uh, I was... Uh, Interesting. 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 Okay. Good. So, but then, uh, no problem, no questions? Mm, no, not this about, about likes and dislikes. Okay, so this is uh, what we were talking about yesterday. The things that you like and the things that you don't like. Okay, things that probably, what is another word that we can add to this topic is the word hate. Okay, we have uh, like, we have dislike, and then we have hate, not okay, and then we have hate. Okay, like is when something Oh, and there also we have love, which is the opposite. Okay, but when you say like and dislike is less intense. And when you have hate and love is also more intense, right? So these are, you know, the different uh, words that you can use to, to express, right? To express how you feel about some uh, things. When we talk about food, when we talk about music, sports, singers, uh, clothes, uh, preferences for uh, subjects in the school, people, okay? For example, you can say, I, I don't like, I don't like people who don't respect others. Okay, say I don't like, but no, no hate. Okay, say, I hate people. No, it's okay. I, I don't like, I don't like people who don't respect others. Okay, but then, uh, but it's something that we all have this problem. Okay, todos tenemos problemas a veces y no todos caemos bien siempre, right? So then this is something that we people say, I don't like that man, I don't like that woman, I don't like that person, I don't like this. Okay. But that's a, a way to express. Arely, hello, welcome. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How are you? Or yesterday. Ah, yesterday, you know, eh, Benjamin, you missed the party that Arely had there. You know, she, <laughs> she was dancing salsa. Can you believe that? She was dancing merengue, salsa, uh, reggaeton, and everything. You know? <laughs> After eating the class, cake. eating cake. What else? What else did you do, uh, Arely? Uh, sorry? What else did you do? What did you do yesterday? Ah, okay. In the party? Uh, I celebrate beer day. Um, a beer day? Yes. Uh, el, el día de la cerveza. How do you say prima? A cousin. My cousin. Your cousin's birthday. Birthday. 
Birthday. Ajá, because beer day is el día de la cerveza y ese es Oktoberfest. Ah, birthday. <laughs> okay, birthday. Okay, that's the Oktoberfest. Okay, good. Then uh, then we have the birthday. Yes, uh, your cousin's birthday. Good. Teacher, um, yes. do I have the seminary of accountants? When? Yesterday. I ah, have, yes. I Semi have. A, we a webinar or a seminar? For three hours. Okay, was it as, you know, on, online? Yes. Online, okay. So it was a web After webinar. Class. After this class, from 11, that means from 10 to 1 in the morning. No, no, no. Antes, antes. Be before. Ah, before this class. Before, before. Ah, okay. okay. Before is okay from what? Mm -hmm. From 6 to 9. Okay, so that was Let's terrible. Yes, mm -hmm. the webinar and the class. Okay, good. And what about you, Lorena? What did you do today? What was how was the day? Today was my was uh, well. Today is my off day. Ah, your so day off. I don't go to work today. Yes. Oh, uh, why do you but have it, a why do you have a day off on the week? Because <coughs> um, my schedule mm -hmm. is very. How can I say? Um, I I work from six thirty six thirty a.m. to four p.m. Mm -hmm. four days in the week, and one day I work uh, eight hours. So uh, in the in the area in, <clears throat> in the area, huh? Yes, in the in the area. Um, my boss told me that uh, she can give me the the extra hours, not pay, but give me the day off. The day so, off. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So today is my so day. So you take Wednesday, Wednesday and Saturday. Or and Wednesday. Sunday. Because Wednesday Saturday Sunday. I I work and my schedule is is the same, 6.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. On Saturdays. On Saturdays. Yes. So you were five days. Uh, yes, five, five days. days. And then you rest mm -hmm. Wednesday and okay, mm -hmm. it's not bad. And that's the the um, how can I say la recompensa se me olvida. They uh, to make up they say, to make the make up the time, uh, compensate uh -huh. compensates make up. Compensate. You say make up. Mm -hmm. That's how they make up for you that time. Okay, good. Doesn't, but that sounds good. Sounds, you know, interesting. Just like mm -hmm. doctors. Doctors don't work on Wednesday uh, in the afternoon. So then I think uh, they, they give you the doctor's schedule so you feel important. Then we, that, but when you have a routine, mm -hmm. this is not so easy because today I get up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. So I want to stay in bed, but mm -hmm. my body said, no, you need to get up. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's that's, true. That's the only difficult or problem. Yes. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, then we have Tamara. Hello, Tamara. <coughs> Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? All right. Good here you know talking and listening to people and having fun okay let's okay. see let me see we have um, what do we have for today Okay, this is the last one that we were listening to last night about who is my date, remember? We're talking about uh, Linda's date. Okay, so today we have Teacher. 
Yes, invitations. Uh -huh. I need your help and number 4.4. Yes. And num number three. Okay. Them. Mm -hmm. You say, for example, I don't like them. Remember, here we have object pronouns. Is the referent. Okay, thank you. Okay, I don't um, like very much. I don't like them very much. We were talking here about science fiction movies. Okay. And yesterday, remember, we were talking about the invitation, right, to a soccer game. Wait, we need sound. And participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. But I have to work late. Oh. Okay. Any questions about the vocabulary? No? Around is cerca. Uh, around is approximately. Okay. okay. Around 730, uh -huh. como a las alrededor de. Como a las. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, it's cerca, right? We can use. But I don't think what we is... use cerca in Spanish. Uh -huh. Son great. That's okay. Let's just sorry, meet sorry, at the sorry, stadium sorry, before sorry. the match. Around. Uh, what is what? That sounds great. Ah, that sounds great. Okay, this is when you sounds. say that something, huh? that sounds fine, that sounds great, that sounds good. For example, if I said tomorrow we have a day off, with tomorrow free. Hey, that sounds great. We have vacation. Okay, but during the day, not in the night. Okay, we have a class. Okay, so then you say, that sounds great, that sounds fine. Okay, uh, or, or this Saturday, we are going to have a party. Okay, we're going to have a party and we're going to celebrate Benjamin's birthday. Hey, that sounds good. It's like if you say, hey, que chivo. Hey, suena Ay. bien, suena bien. Ajá, suena buena bien. onda. Me, me gusta lo que dices, algo así. Yes, ajá, me suena bien, yes. It says, sounds great, pero, and then, and tiene degrees, hay unos grados, right? Great, okay. suena excelente, right? Sounds fine, suena bien, yeah, it's okay. But great is top, right? Very good. Okay, no problem? With more questions or expressions? No okay, which says, those, that sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Entonces, so, okay, entonces cenamos a las seis, okay, and then it says, mm, I like to, me gustaría pero, right, I like to, but I have to work late, so there is an inconvenience here, all right, good. Richard, I... Uh, uh -huh. uh, that sentence, do you want to have dinner at six? Dinner. Dinner, dinner at, at six, six. Uh -huh. um, is, is necessary. Um, the, the sentence is PM. No, 
No, because dinner is oh, dinner. Oh, oh, if you say breakfast... Oh, the sentence is <clears throat> o'clock. No. Not no. necessary. Not necessary. Because you say dinner. Mm. Why? Dinner, dinner is in the afternoon. Only... Only mm. uh, if you say lunch, at. lunch is at noon. Breakfast is at 6 eh, p.m. Aquí como que se sobreentiende, right? Hay casos en los que probablemente sea necesario, okay? See you tomorrow at 6 a.m. or p.m. Ah, tomorrow, okay, see you tomorrow at 9, 9 a.m. or p.m., 9 p.m., the time of the class. Okay, a veces por el contexto. Okay, pero oh, no siempre, okay, no siempre okay. es necesario que, okay. no siempre tiene que ir p.m. or a.m. Cuando se, cuando se da la hora, sí, siempre hay que decir o'clock. Solamente cuando se pide la hora. What time it, is it? It depends, eh, because eh, a veces digo, ¿qué hora son? Las seis. In English, too, six. It's six o'clock. Then you say six o'clock. Okay, no necesariamente siempre va a ser como. En los libros de texto aparece six o'clock, six p.m. Pero realmente a la, en la vida práctica eso cambia. Right? It's different. It's a, it's a little different. Huh? But you can say it. When you say six o'clock, sounds more formal. Okay, when you only say six, it's less formal or informal. So that's the difference. Okay, so if you want to be very correct, like British people, six o'clock. Okay, it's no big deal. Okay, then uh, I I took the picture to the dialogue, and now I have it in is in your WhatsApp, right? Then you have a picture. Please read the the conversation in turns. And after, create a conversation similar to that. Okay, um, I'm going to, we're going to have three groups. I mean, three groups, only, no, wait a minute. Two groups, because Okay, here we go. Then we're gonna have a, a relay, then we're gonna have a Javier, and then we're gonna have Tamara. Okay, that's gonna be in one group. And the other group is going to be Benjamin, Lorena, and Romeo. Okay, there you go. First, practice the conversation. And after practicing the conversation, create su propia conversation, right? Your own conversation similar to that.
I love to. Mm, yeah. Does its concert. Yes. No. What can I do? What I do? Its concert. concert. Yes. Uh, at, at night? At night. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> depend. At night. At night? I think, no, more. Mm. At night. What time? I love to. What time? Too. What time does it start? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, entonces, entonces, eh, eh, Lorena va a preguntar que tiene unos tickets para un concierto de rock, ¿verdad? En uh -huh. este caso, yo voy a contestar, eh, thank, eh, thank, eh, I love to, yes. Okay. Ah, no. I will love to, no, pero ahí está es unido, ¿verdad? Good es el verbo, es el would. El mismo que dice, would you like to would go? Would you like to? Es el sí. mismo que dice contractado. I love to. El, ajá, I love to. Entonces Ay. la otra persona, o, o Romeo va a decir, I love to, pero aquí quizás le preguntamos al teacher cuando entra. What time does it, does it start? What time does it start? Okay, time? Uh -huh. Pero no sé qué iría antes. No sé si se le pone I love to. To de también. O me too, o no sé. Y luego, ¿a qué horas es la? ¿O ¿A qué horas comienza? O solo pregunta, ¿a qué horas comienza? Vaya, hagámoslo, hagámoslo. Este, hagámoslo ahorita como que si lo estuviéramos realmente haciendo y nos vamos corrigiendo. <risa> ok, questions. Ajá, bye. I have tickets to the alternative world concert this Saturday night. Uh, Would you like to go? Thank you. I love to. What time does it start? Ajá, es que esa what time does it start es para que lo diga Romeo, para que los tres hablemos. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Ajá, o sea que uno dice, gracias, me encantaría ir. Y para que la otra persona Entonces, también ahí le puedo intervenga. Agregar yo. Ahí le puedo agregar yo, en you, eh, Romeo, yes, se puede. Sí, yo, ajá. What time does sí. it start? The start, exacto. At 9 p.m. O le, o le digo, ah, no, vea, porque ya dijimos Saturday night, at night. At night. At night, o sea, hoy en la noche. Ajá, cabal, no en la noche. Ajá. ¿Y quién dice? Bye. Uh, y luego iría. Y luego tendría que decir yo. Ustedes, ajá. That sound great. Ah, suena bien. Entonces, y si Romeo pregunta, ¿Would you or do you want to have dinner before? Exactly. Uh -huh. Do you have to have dinner before? Do you do want you la cosa? Do you would, want? Would you like to have? Oh, would you like? Mm -hmm. It's more formal, but you would, can say, Do you want? Mm -hmm. Ay, teacher. Yo estoy aquí, estoy en, el, en la pantalla del WhatsApp, y yo, ¿de dónde apareció el teacher? Ah, pues, good night, good night. Ahorita tengo la lengua trabada, teacher. I can estoy see bien. that. 
Estoy en modo... Le voy a poner un tongue twister. Un trabalengua, un trabalengua. Would you like to have dinner? Vaya, would you like, ajá. Would you like to have dinner? Before. 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 Uh, entonces yo le digo, uh, I like to, but I have to work late. Ahí le dejamos eso. Y entonces Benjamin dice, él sí. Ok. Para that's cambiarlo. Okay. ok, that sounds good. Oh, uh -huh. Ah, okay. aquí arriba dije. ¿Y otra When expresión, you... Tisha? Eh, para. Para decir, porque como lo que queremos es hacer la conversación entre los tres. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, eh, Romeo nos va a preguntar si queremos ir a cenar. Mm -hmm. you, would you like to have dinner? I, uh -huh. uh -huh. I will answer, oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Mm -hmm. that? And then, and and then, how about you, Benjamin? Uh -huh. How about? Romeo tendría que decirlo. Uh -huh. Okay. How about you, uh -huh. Benjamin? How about you? Eso es como decir en you. En you, Benjamin. Pero how, how about, about you? How about you, Benjamin? And then you, Benjamin, you said, uh, eh, yeah, I love to. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Oh, that's, uh -huh. that sounds great. That sounds great. Okay, okay. That okay, Lauren, I, I say, okay, that's okay. And Romeo, I say, let's ya, no, 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 no. No, entonces ahí, entonces ahí solo decimos, no, entonces yo le digo, ok, see you, o meet, meet, let just meet. See you at no, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., or see you at the concert. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. See you at the concert. Ok, when you finish, Around. practice the conversation, no, ok. No, 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 Vaya, entonces. Concierto. Pero. <risa> dice, I like it too. Vaya. Está like bien, it. me parece. But I have to go late. I like oh. too. I like But too. I have to work. <coughs> but I have. I have. But I have to, have to work late. <clears throat> um, you can order okay you can order sentence I have to but I have it to work mm -hmm. um, I have to meeting I have it to work the other the other meeting I have to meeting Oh. I have to go early. Mm -hmm. eh, I yes. No, I have. Lo que hice, yo estoy trabajando tarde. Uh -huh. I have to go early. Early. Eh, okay. Okay. Oh, thanks. Okay. Oh. That's okay. Okay. Let's just meet, Let's at, just the meet at the concert. Concert before. Just meet at, at the concert. Uh, before the concert, sí, yes, before the mass, before, yeah, the mass, uh, uh, around, no, before the mass, no, the mass, <clears throat> and now let's go me at this stadium. Ah, no, 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 no combina.
that was kicked quickly. Okay. Where are the others returning? <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Okay. My my can is off. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, then first we're going to listen to Lorena, Benjamin, and Romeo. Hey, and what happened to Javier? Okay, then when they come, uh, when Javier comes back, then we go with the other group. Okay. Uh, okay. Tell us your conversation. Okay. Ready, guys? Yes. Ready, ready? Okay. Hi, guys. I have tickets to the alternative rock rock concert. Would you like to go with me? Thanks, I love to. Okay. What time what time does it start? At nine. That sounds great. Uh, would you no, 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 no. That sound no. no wait wait sorry. <laughs> no. Ah yes, yes, that sound great is Se escucha bien, ¿verdad? Ok, sorry. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, ok. Yes, I don't know what happened. Ya, ya estaban hablando, ¿verdad? Yes. Epic. Sí, es que no, no se oía, pero sí ya. Ok, sorry. Ah, okay. Vuelvan a comenzar. Sorry, ok. Sorry. Ok, go ahead. Hi, guys. I have tickets to the Alternative Rock concert. Would you like to go with me? Thing I love to. What time does it start? At nine. That's great sound. That sounds that great. Sounds great. <laughs> Would do you like have a dinner before? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. How about you, Benjamin? Oh, that's okay. Okay, see you at the concert around 8.30. See you, see you later. There. Okay, very good. One says see you later, the other one says see you there. Okay, good, nice. Okay, you see now, this is a, they call it in English paraphrase. Esto se llama parafrasear, right? And then uh, you follow the, uh, the similar pattern, el patrón similar a la conversación. You only change, solo se cambian palabras y lugares, right? Some phrases, and you have other extra ideas, right? And then this is uh, a way to practice the, para practicar the structure, la estructura, and the vocabulary, okay? So this is something that you can do very often when you write. Okay, good. Now, eh, Arely, Mara. Don't worry, if you, si tienen que improvisar, do it, no problem, okay? Uh -huh. Siempre es bueno, okay? Okay, mm. Tamara and Javier. Okay. Tamara, I have a ticket to the concert on Saturday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does in concert? At night. That's um, great. So do you want to have dinner at 7 p.m.? Oh, I like to. But I have to work late. Oh, thanks. But let's just meet 
at the concert before um, 8 p.m. Okay, let's meet at the gate. Okay. Okay. Good. And what happened to Arely was just selling the tickets. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, that was the conversation. And then uh, we have the, the different uh, ways to, to express ideas, right? Now, let me check here. This was the invitation, how to invite someone. And okay, here we go. Okay, here we have the next question, which is would. Okay, Lorena, can you please read? This 411 objective. Sure, teacher. Lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of good in question and answer. Okay. Comprehend. Come se dice? Comprehend. Okay. Comprehend, comprehend. the use comprehend. of would in questions and answers. Okay. Remember that uh, the word would. Eh, aquí habla de gustaría o quisiera, but would depends on the verb that is next to it. Si decimos would like, es gustaría, okay, or would you like, eh, but if you say, for example, would you go, eh, iría, would it, uh, it would be, sería, it would uh, study, estudiaría, right, depends on the verb, then you're gonna use the word would, okay? That's what it says here, would plus verb, okay, would sure. verb plus two plus verb, uh-huh. Cool, cool. Would. Would. Mm -hmm. Would. Este would es el futuro de want. Mm, no. No. no, 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 no. It's just when you say would. When you say futuro, it's will. Uh, will. Mm, okay. okay, will is the future and this one is would, okay? It says, ia. I would like, me gustaría. I will love, me encantaría. Oh, okay. it's present. Uh, it's no. something hypothetical. Mm. So, like, algo que le gustaría hacer, pero que no lo está haciendo y no sabe si lo va a hacer. It's hypothetical, right? So, I would yeah. like. I would like to go. Me gustaría ir. Okay, but that's por eso que en el futuro. I will go, I will go, iré. Eso es futuro, okay? Uh, I will go. Uh-huh, that's something that, or oh, I won't go. Okay, o no iré. Okay, will, okay. I will go, es como iré, como, como una afirmación, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Look at it, uh, listen to the examples here. Y después okay. vemos otras dudas, ¿ok? Listen to this. Can you listen? Yes. No. No, no teacher. Uh, creo que cuando... No, teacher. Cuando nos vamos a los grupos, creo que sí. Ok, here. Here we go now. It's a book. Yes. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes. I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. 
I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb comma but plus examples I would love to go to her new house but I can't I would like to go to her new house but I can't okay Two plus verb comma but in order to accept and save money would you like to go to a soccer match, Ida? Yes. Two plus verb. Would. Okay. So let's see the the structures that we have. The first one is. Would you like to go out on Friday? This is the question, right? This is the yes no question. Uh, would you like to go to a soccer match? Okay. Uh, this one is similar to, do you want to go out on Friday? Or do you want to go to a soccer match? The difference is that would you like is more polite, sounds more educated, okay, good manners. Okay. And when you say, do you want is less formal. Okay, so it's like when you say in Spanish, querés, querés ir, right? <laughs> do you want? Es que yes. Uh -huh. In Spanish, we say, ¿Quieres es amigo y no te doy, right? Quiere, ca <laughs> quiere café. Then you say, would you like a... It's different when you say, would you like a cup of coffee? Okay. Gusta una taza de café, como doña Florinda, remember? Yes. And then you say, for example, <laughs> would you like? So this one is more formal. Uh -huh. And do you want, Benjamin, is quieres o quieres, right? In good Salvadorian. Then uh, the answer is, would you like to go out on Friday? Short answer, yes, I would. Uh, yes, I love to, thanks. Me encantaría, gracias. I really like to go, okay? Realmente me gustaría ir. And then is there one? Uh -huh. eh, aquí en la respuesta, la primera que dice, yes, I would, ahí no se puede leer, yes, I'll. No se no. entendería, ¿verdad? No. No se puede. In short answers, no contractions. Never. Okay? Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I would. And in Spanish, it's only yes. ¿Quieres salir de viernes? Sí. Yes, I would. Ah. Short answer. Okay? And yes, I love to. Thanks. It's a little uh, longer. And yes, I really like to go. This is the long answer. Okay? And here you can use either. Okay? In the long answers. But in the short answer, no. Yes, I would. Pero se puede responder en, en respuesta en respuesta larga si se puede decir I would really like go to go. Yes. Okay. Yes. And this one when you say would you like to go uh, to a soccer match? I like to. But okay, y ahí viene el but. Okay, el pero. I like to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I don't have money. I like to, but I have uh, to study. I like to, but I have to to do some things in my house. Okay, I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay, this is like the excuse. Would you like to go out? Okay, como la excusa o el, yeah, de, del por qué no se puede. And here you say the contraction I'd. I'd equals I would. Okay? Then the other is one is... Any question? Uh-huh. I'd like to. Yes? No y question? I'd love y I'd like significan lo mismo. 
No. One is more intense than the other. Equals I would. In order uh, to accept an Here, for example, you can see uh, I would like to go to her new house and I love to go to her new house. This one is only standard, right? But when you say I would love is something that you have more intensity. Yes, more intensity to do it, right? So then this is, for example, like and love. Aquí no es amarilla, right? It's something like encantar. So it's different. Ah, okay. Me encantaría. Y al otro me gustaría. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Romeo, no problem. Just remember this. Eh, similar in, in el sentido de que se está, le, gust, eh, le agradaría hacer algo, right? I will, I would be glad to. Esa sería otra. Okay, I would like to and I love to. Okay. Good. Then it says subject, I would, verb is like, I would like. Y luego viene, I would like to go. I would like to stay. Aquí pueden poner cualquier verbo. I would like to drink. I would like to eat. I would like to uh, fly. Me gustaría volar, right? I would like to fly uh, to another country. I would like to listen. I would like to hear. I would like to work. Es una respuesta, verdad? Esta, 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 esta parte. What? Um, is an answer? No, these are sentences. These are sentences. Podrían ser respuestas si hay, si hay una pregunta similar a esto. What would you like? Uh, for example, uh, where would you like to go? I would like to go to her new house. Where would oh. you like? Where would you like to live? I would like to live in Mexico. Where would you like to eat? I would like to eat uh, in my house. Okay, depend if there is a question, but you can say sentences too. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. I would like to study. I would like to study English. I would like to learn <laughs> another language. Okay, I would like to read books, many, many, many books. I would like to have more time. Me gustaría tener más tiempo, so whatever. Okay, mm -hmm. or I would love to, algo que le gustaría o algo que le encantaría. Okay. Invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Okay, so remember this. Subject, would, uh, like, to, another verb, and the complement. I would like to go to her new house. I would like to eat in a restaurant. I would like to read many books. I would like, oh, I would love to uh, fly to Panama, okay? Take an airplane. Good, then. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples, I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay, and this is, si hay una pregunta before, okay, before this one, this es como rehusar o como negarse a una invitación, right? Y poner una excusa. I love to go to her new house, but I can't. I have to work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eh, en, en, el ex, en, el, en el ejemplo que dice, I love, eh, se escucha, escuché que dijo, I, I will, I will. O solo es I will. No, you can use both. Eh, Recuerden, cuando es una respuesta larga, usted puede usar would or I. No, no, no. ¿Cómo, cómo se pronuncia? I'd, I love. Uh -huh. I love. I will do. Las dos formas son correctas. Okay. Uh -huh. You can say both. If you say, I would love to go, or you can say, I'd love to. No I problem. Love. 
I no, no, no problem. Okay, you can use both. And I, I love to go to uh -huh. plus verb, comma, but plus examples. I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. I can't, okay? She's not using the contraction. But like to go to her new house. But no problem. You can say would or you can say I'd. I'd oh. or would. I'd. Mm -hmm. would. I'd or would. No problem. I'd. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, this is a long answer, right? But it's different. But I can't. Two plus verb. Would you like? It's different in the short answer. Okay, in the short answer, you only say yes, I would. No, I. Okay. okay. To go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd love to. I'd love to. Yes, I'd, love to. I'd really like to go. I'd really like to go. Okay, I'd really short. like to go. Uh -huh, this is contracted. Sure. Yes. This is not contracted. This is only the D. I'd, okay? For a speak more word. To speak faster. I'd love to. Mm -hmm. I'd love to. Mm -hmm. It says uh, when you speak so, para hablar más rápido, then they omit. Okay. That's the economy of the language. <laughs> Yes, la economía de los idiomas, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd li like to go to her new house, but I can't. But I can't. Okay, any other question? I would love to go to her new... Any other question? No, teacher. No? Okay, remember that would es para cualquier verbo. Is a, dice, aquí sería me encantaría o me gustaría porque es lo que estamos estudiando. But you can say solamente I would go. Okay, I would go, iría, I would stay, me quedaría. Es para que alguien dice, hey, why don't you stay here tonight? ¿Por qué no se queda a pasar la noche? And they say, I'll stay but I have to work. Me quedaría, pero tengo que trabajar. I'd stay, but I have to, I have to study. I stayed, but I have to do something in my house. Okay? You, se puede refuse an invitation. New house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. All right. Then uh, before we go. Okay, here. Hey, Romeo, can you please read this? Uh, instru these instructions here. Okay. Well, bear plus two plus bear. Instruction, read the following invitation and select the best response. Okay, thank you. Then here says, I have tickets for the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Which is the correct answer? Yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd love to. Okay. Okay. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? I like to, but I have a me meeting, meeting. Okay. I like to, but I have a meeting. Would you like to go to a pop concert? with me this weekend? Yes. yes. I really... Yes. I'd I, love to... Thank you. I'd really like to go. I'd, I'd, I'd really yes, like I'd to go. Really like to. 
I'd really like to go. Okay, good. And this one, would you like uh -huh. to go, would you like to go to a soccer game? Match, to a soccer match next Sunday? Yes, I love, thank you. Yes, I love to, thank you. And the last? Would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? Yes, I I'd like to, I like to, but I have to work. I have to work. I have to work. No has. Okay. Now submitting. Okay, there you go. Okay, yes, I love to. I like to, but I have I have a meeting. Uh, yes, I really like to go. Yes, I love to, thank you. I like to, but I have to work. Okay, so these are the answers. Using I like to, I love to, I love to. Teacher. Yes, Benjamin. En la, en la última pregunta, ¿por qué salió mal a la de but I has to work? Ah. Eh, ¿Quién tiene la respuesta? Eh, the verbs eh, have Perhaps. used in eh, first person, mm -hmm. the other, and... Uh, I has three work. person. Mm -hmm. Third person. He, Third she, person. it. Mm -hmm. He, she, it. Okay. Okay. Yes, has. It, it. I remember. Yes. Has is for he, she, it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I, we, you, they is have. Okay. Have. Good. Have. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? Only. Um, okay. Well, that's all for today. Okay, I'm sorry, teacher, I don't feel good. I have to leave. Excuse me, I have to see you tomorrow. Okay, good. All right, no problem. So then uh, that's all for today, guys. Tomorrow it's Friday. Eh, trabajen en la plataforma porque ya es, solo nos quedan cinco clases. Okay. Una de mañana y las cuatro de la próxima semana. O sea que mañana terminamos esta sección y introducimos la cinco. Y la otra semana terminamos la cinco y veríamos un repaso para también ya contestar el examen final. Right? Que ese es más sencillo todavía que el, que el anterior porque solo son las últimas dos unidades, eh, las últimas dos secciones. So it's not really complicated. Ok, good. So, good. have a good night. Yeah, what? Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good night.